In the previous video, we used refs to store values that don't affect the UI, but need to persist across renders. That alone makes refs incredibly useful. But there is another very common reason refs exist in React, and that is to interact directly with the DOM. You already know React is declarative. You describe what the UI should look like, and React updates the DOM for you. But there are certain situations like focusing an input, scrolling an element into view, or measuring the size or position of an element where you need a direct handle to the DOM. Refs are how you get that handle. Let's understand this with an example. Back in VS Code, in the source folder, create a new file called focusinput.jsx. Here, scaffold a basic React component. Export const focus input is equal to an arrow function that returns a div tag focus input. Now let's add an input and a button. So within the div tag, an input element type is equal to text, placeholder, enter your name. And below the input, a button that says focus input. Now the goal is simple. When the user clicks the button, the input should automatically receive focus. To achieve this, we need a reference to the input element. So first, let's import use ref from React. Import use ref from React. Now create a ref inside the component. Const input ref is equal to use ref, and the initial value is null. Now here is the key part. Attach this ref to the input using the ref prop. Ref is equal to input ref. This is how you tell React to assign the DOM node to input ref dot current. So now let's wire up the button click. Define a function called handle input focus, which is an arrow function, and call input ref dot current. Remember that is where the value exists, and we call dot focus. Attach this function to the button. On click is equal to handle input focus. Let's save this and include it in app.jsx. So import focus input and invoke it. In the browser, we should see our input as well as our button. Refresh, the input doesn't have any focus. Click the button and the input immediately gets focus. We are able to manipulate the DOM directly with a ref. Please note that refs are an escape hatch, a necessary one, but still an escape hatch. You should use them sparingly. If you find yourself constantly manipulating the DOM, it usually means you're fighting React instead of working with it.